Lichtenstein was a very famous pop artist. He made huge paintings using Bende dots. He liked to use primary colors, which are red, yellow, and blue, and he also used white and black. Pop art often used everyday things as subject matter, like Andy Warhol's soup cans. Pop art got its name from popular culture, like comic books, TV, and things happening in the world, like the first man on the moon. People loved pop art so much that they still make it today. Creating value using hatching. We're going to use our sketchbook uh, syllabus to practice using hatching to create value. We create value by going from the darkest to the lightest. So I'm going ahead and creating my hatching lines. The first box, the darkest box, is going to be pretty much just like colored in with your pencil. Make sure you keep the lines going in pretty much the same direction. I'm going up and down, but you could do side to side. And then you go to the next box. And this one's going to be a little bit lighter. That means my lines are going to be slightly more spaced apart. That makes it look lighter. I'm still using the same direction. And then I go to the next box and I make these lines a little bit further apart from each other. And then the next one. And the last one I might only have three light lines. This is a way to make value. Next you're going to outline your drawing. There I am. So there is what we're going to aim for. This is the final project that we're looking at creating. And once you have your bottle completely drawn, we're going to want to make sure to outline and darken our pencil lines. We only darken our pencil lines when we for sure know um, that we have the right pencil lines and the right proportions. So I'm ready to go ahead and go over my light pencil lines and darken them a little bit since later on we're actually going to be going over those pencil lines with Sharpie. Next you're going to create value on your bottle. So we practiced hatching on our sketchbook syllabus and now we're going to put it on our bottles. Now you'll notice that when I make my hatching marks that I make them slightly curved. The reason why is because our bottle is curved. I also only do it on one side of the bottle. That's because one side of the bottle is darker than the other. That's the side that is shaded. Hatching lines are often used in comic books. So I go back and now I'm adding a little bit darker, which means my lines are going to be much closer together, they're a little bit shorter, and they're a lot heavier. I'm pressing on the pencil pretty hard. Hatching doesn't take very long to do. It's not like traditional shading. And then I'll put in some really long lines that are farther apart from each other. And this will make it look a little bit more realistic. It's not quite realistic, it's a little bit cartoony. And there I have one side shaded and ready to go.